Our research is focused on delivering medical technologies that improve people's lives. We do this by working closely with end users to understand their problems. I work specifically in the field of orthopaedic trauma and within that the treatment of bone fractures. I think Devaga is an excellent researcher who understands clinical needs and this combination actually was the base for the development we did together. I think the biphasic plate is addressing a clinical need. We know from fracture healing, if it's too stiff, the fracture doesn't heal adequately or maybe even goes to a non-union, an atrophic non-union. If it's too flexible, it just goes the opposite side. It's too flexible and it goes to a hypertrophic non-union. There's a sweet spot in between. And I think we have to define, first of all, the sweet spot, which was done with many research in forehand, but Devaka took it on with his own research to address the sweet spot and find a solution that the plate stays in it when it's load-bearing. And I think this is the beauty of the device, which attracts us clinicians very much to use it. Our past research shows that the mechanical environment produced by internal fixation devices is highly variable, changing with the placement of the screws within the fixation device. Discussing my research with Marcus Vindorf from the AO Foundation, an institute dedicated to the advancement of treatment of bone fractures, during his sabbatical here in Brisbane in 2015, led to the development of a new plating concept called the biphasic plate. Flexibility is introduced into the system through a transverse slot that gives the plate a flexible phase at low loads to ensure adequate micro-movements to stimulate healing. In 2009, with the support of the AO Technology Transfer, we began work on the first clinical application of the concept to challenging distal femur fractures. The design of the device required trade-offs between the thickness and strength and was performed almost exclusively using computer-aided designs supported by computer simulation of the behaviour under load. This process saved countless iterations that otherwise would have required timely and expensive physical prototyping and testing. Although the concept may seem relatively simple, the biphasic plate is actually a high-precision device that demands manufacturing processes capable of achieving tight tolerances to ensure the mechanical performance is met and the compatibility with surgical instruments used in minimally invasive surgery. The material, cold work stainless steel, was pushed to the limit to maximise the strength and manufacturability at the same time. Hello, I'm Christoph Sommer and I had the honour to implanting the first biphasic plate into a patient. After using it for several cases, I firmly believe that the biphasic plate has the potential to improve patient outcomes. The development of medical devices for regulatory approval and clinical use requires compliance with regulations and standards to ensure the benefits of the device outweigh any associated harms. Innovative technologies such as the biphasic plate can present new challenges for cleaning, sterilization, corrosion and production of metal ions and new failure modes. Systematically identifying, controlling and mitigating any new risks posed by the device was critical to obtaining market access in the European Union, signified by the CE mark that was obtained in 2021. I'm proud that the biphasic plate for the distal femur is AO approved. Through innovations like this, we can support the AO's mission of promoting excellence in patient care and outcomes in trauma and musculoskeletal disorders. The biphasic plate has been a tremendously rewarding project. Hearing how this device is impacting patients' lives has been very satisfying and is evidence of CBT's commitment to improving patient lives. The biphasic plate has now been implanted in 50 patients. It shows the continuous interest of the involved surgeons in the implant and is an important milestone in the documentation of clinical evidence. So far, we are happy to report that the outcome in all patients has been very good. If you're interested in learning more about the biphasic plate or any of the technologies used in this project, please contact us.